going on guys so out here filming a this or that which is the video before this one if you haven't seen it go check it out um, but we've already caught two crappie um, i'm gonna keep fishing for a couple more out here see if i can get some more to take home and we're gonna do a catch clean and cook so uh y'all sit back and enjoy and uh here we go Uh, we got a little bass. Not what we're looking for. Shoot, it wind's kicking. Y'all might not even be able to hear me. It's definitely picked up since I got done filming the this or that. It's 25 mile an hour winds, what wave three is saying right now, so. I believe it. Big old bluegill. Golly. Almost could take these suckers I want to eat them, but really just going for crappie today. But here for too long, I'm going to do a catch and cook, and we'll do some bluegill. And get a couple more people out here with me to catch them. And uh, we'll see if we can get us a big mess of them one day. But in the meantime, we're going to put this little guy back. A little belly on him, but uh, there we go. Another big bluegill. And just as I got done talking about variety, here's another one. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to come out here and do a catch and cook of bluegill one day. Oh, goodness gracious. I really don't want to be fined by you, bud. There we go. I'll let him go. That's a uh, some good sized bluegill too. So definitely gonna have to do that one day. I'd love to be doing that though. That guy's going down there with the boat. Okay, little, little bitty bass, little bitty tater. Hi, bud. You're a little big guy. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Wind is blowing really hard, and it's starting to pour now. And uh, I think we're going to just wrap it up. It's done. We got two crappie to take home and clean, so we're going to do that for you guys. And we caught this or that video. Um, but we did catch two bluegill and some other fish for this video, so that was cool. They were still biting. But uh, it's starting to get cold out here now that the sun's gone and the rain's come out, so... Wrap it up, get home, and play this up for y'all. So, here we go. All right. So, if you didn't watch the last video, um, the this or that video, um, we caught two crappie in it, and that's what we're going to be using for this catch, clean, and cook video. Um, but can't really do a catch, clean, and cook without showing you the actual catches. So, uh, we're going to jump right to that now. So, these are the two crappie that we caught for this video. So, here you go. These bluegill are just destroying this thing. There we go. I think it's a bass or what is that? Oh, big old crappie, huge crappie. Oh my gosh, let's freaking go. Look at this crappie. Oh, heck yeah. I mean, absolute monster slab of a crappie. Gosh, I almost wanna take him home and eat him. I mean, look at the mouth on the thing. Golly, dude. Is that another big crappie? That is another crappie. Heck yeah. Wow, look at the stripe on this one. Look at that stripe, dude. That is cool. And it's got it all the way under his jaw. Wow. All right, so I'm back home now. We're getting everything laid out here. We're gonna do the crappie. Um, we're gonna fry it up 
and then we're doing um what is it roasted potatoes mm -hmm. and then uh peas and rolls so it's gonna be a pretty good meal all together so i'm gonna step outside here and bring the crappie in and then uh patricia's gonna explain uh, everything while she's flaying them up and stuff i personally have not filleted fish um we used to do it when we were kids but i haven't done it in a long time i usually just do frog legs and stuff like that so uh she actually has a um associate's degree in culinary arts so i'm gonna let her take the wheel on that and uh do all that so i'll just film and watch her do her job so um yeah so we're gonna get right into it and uh see if we can fix a really good meal so here we go She's gonna go ahead and season those how she does. She's doing a little bit of olive oil, a little S and P. Some paprika. And just a little bit of seasoning salt. And just toss it all up. Looks good. All right, and once we got those done, we've got the crappie already brought in here. And uh, we'll show you how big those suckers are. I showed the video of me catching them because that was from the last video. Um, in the this or that video when I actually caught the crappie. But now the potatoes go in the oven on 400. And she got the timer 20 minutes. And there's the potatoes. All right. There's our slabs. Big old thick suckers. This one went a pound six. This one, I didn't get a weight on it, but I'm gonna guess it about 13, 14 ounces, something like that, but black crappie. And uh, now Patricia's gonna take over and get them flayed up. So, got those tossed, put them back in for another 10 minutes, and they should be good to go. So, we'll get this on here, and start. There we go. And Patricia's almost got the other side cleaned up. There we go. Nice. I'm going to rinse this, and then... 
What are you doing, bud? Eh. What's the meanders? Eh. Because you're in that seat. Dad's got to have both his hands. I know. I know. I know. We'll be done in just a little bit. And then we'll cuddle. Meow. Mama's getting it finished up on the first fish. A little bit here, one, the battle here. He kept fussing, so Dad had to get him out of his chair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we're getting it. We're getting it taken care of. It's a slow process, but it's going to be really, really good when it's all done. Slab and a half right there. You know it's a good one when it about fills up the sink. <laughs> Alright, timer's off for the potatoes. And uh I'm gonna get those out. Alright, so I got it descaled. Trisha's getting the head cut off now. And then uh, we'll get this one flayed out. And then they'll be ready to hit the pan. So, let's see if we do it again. You're just going to basically scrape off the guts. Yeah, so you basically just want to get as close to the bone as possible so you get as much of that flesh as possible and then you're just going to take it and you're going to do like just nice little strokes to get it off of that bone. Just as close to the bone as you can. And you just keep working it. So you can see how I've gotten as close to the bone as I could. These aren't the best. I need a stone to sharpen my knives. But... Yeah, now that we've decided we're gonna start doing this some, uh, we're gonna invest on a good cutting board that can actually hold the tail still for us and get us a good fillet set. That way we can really do it. It's kind of just the stuff that we already had in the kitchen. She had a sharpener and it sharpened it some, but once we got through that first one, it's already dull again. So it's just kind of fighting against itself now, but she's getting it. And then uh, once we get this done, she'll uh, skin it and then we'll uh, get the meat cleaned up and then we'll be ready to turn the grease up and uh, get these bad boys sizzling. You want to tell the people what you did to daddy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It is okay. We'll get it cleaned up and they're going to go change and then we'll get these crappies cooking. Uh-huh. All right. So, getting the oil turned on here. Get ready to go. And uh, Patricia's finishing up getting these bad boys skinned out. Uh, we'll go ahead and show y'all what we're going to be doing, man. We're going to be frying them. So we're doing them with uh, cornstarch, a little bit of salt, 
uh, season salt as well. And then we're gonna be dunking them. Um, two eggs, some milk mixed up, and uh, we'll dump them from the cornstarch into that and then back into some Kentucky Colonel to top it off and then straighten the pan. So be ready to go. We got the uh, oven preheating. Put the rolls on there in just a minute when it gets done. And then we got the sweet peas to do as well. And those are just gonna be steamed, so we'll be able to just do those in the microwave uh, for about five minutes or so. We got the last one here, then we'll be ready to start battering them up and dropping them in the grease. All right, so oven just preheated. That was perfect timing. Flipped a little bit of water in there and that's popping up. So that grease is about ready. So we'll get these rolls out of here. Get those right in the oven. And those will be on 15 minutes. And uh, ready to start battering these bad boys up and get them dropped in the grease. Alright, so cornstarch, pepper, salt, a little bit of seasoned salt as well. And uh, we're going to get these fillets dropped down in there. Just going to get all that mixed up together. And then uh, get these dropped in there. So we're not going to put any milk in it. I thought we were going to, which that's what I usually do when we do our chicken and stuff. But. This is a little bit lighter. So. Keep, it Keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it light. Alright, so we're going to get some of our turkey okay. crown. And uh, that's a good stuff right there. Dumped in the bag and uh, get ready to mix it up. Patting them dry with paper towel, get some of the moisture off of them. And there they go into the cornstarch, salt and pepper, and seasoned salt. So we'll close this bag up, shake them up, and they will be ready to go in the grease. All right, so the rolls are in the oven. Peas are getting ready to go in the microwave in just a second. I already got the potatoes done. And these bad boys are ready to hit the grease. Oh, yeah. What do you are think? They oh, yeah. Those are good. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's y'all take a look. Oh, yeah. They're ready for the grease. Oh yeah, the golden crispies. Looking good. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been wanting to do this for quite a while. I mean, what do you think? We've probably been wanting to do this for almost a year. At Maybe least a year. year. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is kind of her idea. Um, 
So we've, we've been wanting to do it for, like she said, probably over a year now. And finally it's coming together. Got everything going. Um, really don't have anything holding us up as far as, you know, priorities or stuff we got to be at and all that. So um, going to have a full meal all put together, centered around some fresh caught crappie. So it's going to be real nice. Oh yeah, those look good. Ooh. Careful. <laughs> those look great. Fresh crappie. Got the peas in the microwave. Rolls are in the oven. And uh, there's the roasted potatoes. Whole meal coming together. Last few seconds for the peas. Last few seconds for the rolls. Fish is out of the pan. Potatoes have been done. They're ready to eat. And there we go. Dinner and have us a real good meal. Oh yeah. That looks white flaky. Super, super tender. Perfect seasoning. Awesome. So, there you have it. You saw it here from the pond to the table and to our tummies. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got Oakland here with me and Mama's fixing my plate to go because I'm having to leave for work. It's almost time for me to go. So, I might have time to sit down and eat with everybody, but I'm going to bring Jamie a plate. As a surprise, he doesn't know it's coming, so he doesn't even know I caught any. So, it'll be good. So, anyways, thank you all for sticking around and watching with us. Thank you, babe, for helping me out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one.